During the current installation, the customer has chosen a vinyl casement window with a low e-glass in a dual glaze sealed unit. Before the old window is removed and any work has begun, a good installer should always verify all measurements to check for errors. Such routine precautions help ensure your total satisfaction. A good installer should carefully remove the old window to avoid damaging the structure and any facing, moldings, etc. that will be reinstalled when they've completed the work. As a rule, we strongly recommend changing the frames of old windows. In fact, the space between the old frame and the wall is seldom completely air and watertight, which may increase heating costs. In addition, removing the old frame is the only way to detect hidden problems such as rot on the rough opening. We only keep old frames when the building is very old or especially difficult to touch up. A good installer should carefully inspect the rough opening to make sure all materials and wall pieces are in good condition. At this stage, necessary repairs can be made to prevent old problems from reoccurring with the new window. The installer should then adjust the opening to ensure effective, durable support for the new window. This key step determines how a window will perform after installation. Without securing it permanently in place, we set the window in the opening so that the glass is as close to the warmer part of the opening as possible. Proper positioning reduces heat loss as well as condensation. During the securing step, the window must have sufficient play to sustain normal framework movement. The installer should use quality shims, not wood scraps, to ensure the window is level and adjust it so that it is perfectly square, level and plumb. Also, in order to assure the good functioning, the window corners must be at an exact 90 degree angle, square. It is preferable to drill pilot holes in window frames and to use screws to secure the window in place. This allows for easier adjustment, sturdier installation, and a window that does not retract when the temperature changes. There are several insulation methods and products available. Your needs should be analyzed during the first visit in order to determine the most appropriate solution for your home. During the current installation, the customer has decided to install urethane insulation and this will ensure sufficient air tightness. The exterior caulking ensures water tightness between the window frame and the exterior siding. The installer should pay particular attention to the condition of the flashing. The installer should use waterproofing products appropriate for each installation and chosen to sustain the expansion and contraction of the building materials without coming detached. The size of the joint is of paramount importance. Too thin and it lacks adhesion. Too thick and it lacks elasticity. Your specifications and choice of finishes will determine whether the window extension jam is made of wood or vinyl, as well as the interior casing model and finish. During the current installation, the customer has chosen windows with a vinyl cladded interior extension jam and primed wood interior casing. In all cases, precision cuts ensure a meticulous finish. Part of a good installer's commitment is to leave your premises as they were before installation, which means to remove all construction debris and leave the work area clean. They should even dispose of your old windows if you wish. Once the installation is complete, the installer should inspect it with you for your approval. At the same time, he should take the opportunity to explain how the door and window operates, go over warranty coverage, and give advice on how to maintain the product.